If you want to be a professional designer here in Photoshop, this is a lesson that you need. The hand tool, the H key on your keyboard, will move you around your document, especially when you're zoomed in. So if we're zoomed in here and I need to get to a different spot of my document, then I need to click and drag with the hand tool to move around. However, I never press the H key. In fact, no matter what tool I'm on, currently I'm on the move tool, the shortcut key for that is V, all I need to do is press the space bar and hold it, and I'm able to use the hand tool to move around my document. Then I let go of the space bar and I go back to whatever tool I had. This is absolutely integral to your design knowledge. This is the same uh, shortcut key in every design software. So that hand tool, and as we look at my face all zoomed in, allows us to move around our document, specifically when we're zoomed in. You might notice that it doesn't work when we're zoomed out like this. I use the space bar and I can't move around. And there are some times when you definitely need to. So an option I have turned on is called overscroll. So go into your Photoshop settings and we're actually gonna go down to tools. And if you already go to settings on the left-hand side, you'll see a tools, uh, I guess, category over here. Now inside of here, there's something called overscroll and I always have that turned on. We press OK, and what that allows us to do is press spacebar and use that hand tool to move around. You might have noticed my uh, window shift a little bit there. That's because I have the Apple Magic Mouse, or whatever it's called, and you can actually use your scroll on that to move up and down and left and right, or pressing and holding spacebar to click and drag yourself around your document. Overscroll allows you to do exactly this, which is drag outside of even when you're all the way zoomed out, wherever you want to go in your document. This, this becomes very handy, especially when you're at 100% zoom like this. There might be something that, like a handle of a transformation that you're trying to do is outside of your document, but you don't want to zoom out to get to it. This allows you to kind of scroll over, grab that handle, and scale it in. So that is how to use the hand tool in a much more professional way if you're just learning Photoshop, or maybe you've been using it for a long time, I hope this tutorial helps you.